I'd like to welcome you all to St. Edward's Prize Day 2020. I'd like to especially thank uh, Professor Juanito Camilleri, our new board chair, our special guest speaker, Neil Ajuice, and also a special welcome to uh, Ervin Faruja, our new school captain. In the past, I have been a biology teacher. I love biology. And one of the things that this has taught me is as a species, our ability to adapt and be flexible is one of our main characteristics. Now, this usually happens over thousands of years perhaps, but currently we have had to adapt and change. We've had to change our behavior as a group and as individuals overnight. This change of behavior, our adaption, is what has made us as successful as we are as a species. In this changing of behavior, we don't all change at the same time, we don't all adapt equally, but what is terribly important for us is to understand that we are all dealing with things in a different way. It's important that we show kindness and understanding. You will help other people through, and other people, they will help you through. Now, Prize Day at St. Edward's is one of our oldest traditions and we've had to adapt this Prize Day to deal with the current situation. You will hear about some of the prizes we normally give out, but I also want to mention, um, taking this opportunity to mention some prizes, individual achievements of uh, students outside of, uh, outside of college. Adam Camilleri, first prize in art. In business, we've had Laura Cianese and Angelica Catini, who were taken on an internship with HSBC. In journalism, Liana Bella, and also Jamie Sherry Richard for his first place in a national art and design competition. Now, again, these are just a few of the um, these are just a few of the uh, competitions that I want to talk to you about. What I really want to do today now is to thank all of the teachers, parents and boys who have achieved what they have achieved today. You've done this because you've adapted. You've done this through kindness and understanding. I want to give you a little bit of context for this video before I end up. Prize Day is normally a very formal ceremony. We get everybody into college. We set up speeches, um, but there's a lot of handshaking. Uh, we had to adapt as a college, as a group. There was a lot of brainstorming, the pros and cons, what we can do, what we cannot do. Last year, what we did, how can we maintain the quality of Prize Day. Um, but what was interesting for me is, as we went through it, the enthusiasm to be successful, it just grew and it grew and it grew. And I think that this is a testament to the staff here at college who saw the challenge, went through the disadvantages, what can we do, and they did adapt and make this successful. There is one person, or one group I really need to talk about, and that's the producer, director, the art, music design, somebody who organized the logistics. Um, that particular group comes down to one person, Mr. Joel and Gallia. So Mr. Gallia, thank you very much for all those roles that you've carried on. Enjoy the rest of Prize Day. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm delighted that Master decided to soldier on and organize this Prize Day ceremony, despite the somewhat peculiar circumstances we all find ourselves. Health and safety considerations have forced us to adapt the way we conduct our daily life and business and overcome hurdles none of us thought we would have to look at. It has not been easy for the college administration, first, to organize online tuition during the lockdown of schools in Trinity term last semester year, and then to prepare for the reopening of the school in October, this academic year and this while supporting online options for those who chose to or are unable to attend in person. It certainly isn't easy for parents to juggle work commitments with the learning and study program of their children, 
particularly with all the uncertainty looming in that. It was challenging for teachers as they adapt to teaching in a hybrid teaching environment, struggling between physical and digital presence. These have been very stressful times. It was challenging for the headmaster and his management team who had to plan for any eventuality and manage challenges and change on the fly as circumstances keep changing. There is a lesson we can all draw. Whatever hurdles life throws at us, we can adapt, we can overcome, and with patience and perseverance, we will prevail. This is precisely the spirit we celebrate pride, a spirit of tenacity. But today, it's not about us. It is about our children, our students. We meet, even if online, to acknowledge their achievements. Yes, today, we celebrate their perseverance. We celebrate those who went the extra mile to overcome hurdles and challenges. We celebrate those who succeeded to achieve ambitious persons. We are here to celebrate the journey more so than the destination. I believe excellence ought to be measured in terms of where one arrives relative to one starting and in terms of the lessons learned and challenges overcome on the way, and not relative to the achievement of others. May all our students be successful in unfolding their personal journey in pursuit of excellence. I trust you will enjoy celebrating your children's achievements. Good afternoon, everybody. When the headmaster contacted me and asked me to deliver a speech on Prize Day, the first thing that immediately came to mind was, oh wow, I finally made it to Prize Day. Being an Edwardian from year one up to sixth form was a privilege. I remember clearly Miss Blanche as my teacher, then some 20 years later as my colleague, as I also worked in the kindergarten and the junior school for a few years. So it's easy for me to say that college is close to my heart. I am sure that your parents and teachers are very proud of all of you, but remember to be proud of yourselves for your achievements. We are living in a time where we are constantly being challenged and it is up to you to decide how this will affect us. Try not to look for excuses, but for solutions for anything that you have faced. What motivates me is desire to keep challenging myself, pushing myself physically and mentally to new heights where nobody has been before and not be afraid of failure but searching for success. Swimming from Sicily to Malta has taught me that we can accomplish a lot more than we imagine and that nobody can tell us we can't do something. I will leave you with this message. If you can dream it, then you can achieve it. Your teachers, parents and friends are all there to help you achieve those dreams. So dream big and never stop dreaming. Thank you and congratulations to the prize winners. Hopefully in the near future I will be able to come to college and meet you all. Well done. Thank you. As a new college captain, I have been asked to deliver a few words as his tradition on prize day. It is a great honor for me to join you online today and to be able to address you in this manner that we are not used to for Prize Day. COVID-19 has wreaked havoc on a global level and particularly to these last scholastic years. It has truly impacted all of us in different ways. We are living in unprecedented times that will go down in history. It is a great disappointment to me and I am sure to all of you, especially for the first time prize winners, that we are not holding this event in the school hall. We all miss the physical format of prize giving ceremony, surrounded by proud parents and friends. However, 2020 Prize Day will still want to be, rem be one to be remembered, despite the unpleasant situation we are currently living through. It is important for everyone here today to bear in mind that this is not forever, and it does not need to be. History has shown us that with every crisis there, is, there are new challenges. With, with new opportunities which leads, which leads to innovative solutions that shine a light to build a better world. We must never give up, but believe that together we can get out of this stronger and more resilient if we learn together and strive together. 
One example of how we are adapting to this pandemic is the massive aspect of digitalization and how we are used to physical format events. We adapted online, to online meetings and to online learnings. While it is crucial for us to look towards the horizon to better times, we must also look behind us and to acknowledge our achievements through, the difficult, through this difficult time. Last, last March, all schools throughout Malta and most of Europe closed their doors and heavily and hastily switched to online learning, where the rest of the scholastic year was completed. I am sure that this was a shock to all of you and to all our dedicated teachers. Months of hard work vanished before your eyes, only to be locked down behind computer screens. The educational process became much more complex. It was difficult for students, teachers and parents alike, but we managed to evolve and enter a new, different world. This brings me to remind you that the flexibility and that adaptation are the keys to success in life. Although today is prize day, we usually recognize only the prize winners. I believe it is also significant to recognize the hard work and all the, and the diligence that each and every one of you have put in. You should all be proud to receive your prizes and most importantly to be proud, be proud to represent this prestigious educational institution with respect and honor. As the headmaster has told us in the past, this school stands for high expectations and standards and therefore it is a great feat for you to be able to be here today. I do not want any of you to, change, to downplay your efforts. You have all shown great determination to change during these challenging circumstances. A word of appreciation goes to our dedicated teachers and supporting parents who always guide us through uncharted and troubling times. As your new college captain, I would like to take responsibility for maintaining the motto and values that the school has set and to be an example to all of you. Finally, I would like to conclude by calling upon all of you to be the embodiment of the school values, to strive together in solidarity and in kindness, in the promise that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that we can get through all of this together. Enjoy Prize Day! Everyone. So we're going to start off this year's prize days with year one and year two. In year one and year two we will be celebrating giving the boys the certificates next week. Um, we will be awarding um, every boy his own prize, his own certificate for his own individual achievements as we have done in previous years. But for today's we're going to be awarding the headmaster's prize for overall progress per class from year one and year two. So starting off with year 1X, we have Juan Bindai, Rafi Mamo, and Luca Trophy. Yet 1Y, we have Oscar Saracino and Glott, Sebastian Camilleri Burlo, and George Donna. Year 1Z, Lee Mazzapardi Mercia, Luke Delia, and Paula Colina Cruz. Moving on to year two, we're going to start off with year two X for the Headmaster's Prize for Overall Progress. We have Tommaso Passotto, Nick Sant, and Zaka Tard. Moving on to year two Y, we have Gabriel Spaznin, Luke Spiteri, and Thomas Camilleri. Well done to all the boys, you truly deserve it. I'm going to announce now the Headmaster's Prize for Overall Progress for the year three boys. This year, of course, was a rather difficult year. Some boys made excellent progress in school and others shone online, so it was a rather difficult decision. But this year we've chosen from 3X, Zach Baldacchino Orland, Anthony Marmo and Jason Ruan. And from 3Y, Andreas Bray, Jan Fiorentino and Gabriel Schwartz. But well done to all our junior school boys for a very difficult year. The next award is the Scepter Award for Public Spirit. This goes to a boy who's particularly shown comradeship, who's caring, who's shown helpfulness for the community at St Edward's. This year it goes to Timmy Vassallo of 6X. The Amponka Kiakarwana Prize was introduced by my father several years ago. After his passing, we have continued to give this prize in his memory. My father strongly believed that everybody should give importance to promoting public spirit in everyday life, hence the name of his prize. Public spirit goes beyond the academics, but looks at positioning oneself in society 
where one can assist others, either directly or be instrumental in doing so. An Edwardian should stand up and be counted, should strive to make a difference in society by putting others first, by being helpful, friendly, kind, caring, generous, altruistic and forthcoming. These are the personality traits that we should all strive for. And finally, congratulations to the winners of this special prize. Good afternoon. For the Antoine Kakia Karawana Award for Public Spirit in the Middle School, I would like to um, nominate Yanni Muscat. Yanni is a very, very sociable, caring young gentleman who represents many of the qualities that we hold dear here in St Edwards. For the Antoine Kakia Caruana Prize for Public Spirit, we have two students who have jointly proven themselves to be leaders, especially in times of uncertainty. Julian Coppini and Sean Gatt, thank you for all your hard work, as well as being role models for other Edwardians to follow. For the Antoine Kakia Caruana Award for Public Spirit in the Sixth Form, I would like to recognise a student who became a proud Edwardian despite only being here for a limited amount of time and that is Sebastian Sinistera Geraldo, particularly for his help in setting up the Student Council and a memorable election campaign, but also for organising the virtual graduation ceremony for his class. Well done, Sebastian. We couldn't have done it without you. This year's sporting achievement for the junior school uh, will be split into two. We will be awarding uh, an award for in-house, in, 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 in college, and then we also have an award for uh, what uh, boys have been doing outside college, especially after the pandemic. So uh, the first uh, award goes to Luke Gregg, who was always uh, representing his house in cross country, in basketball, in football and in a variety of sports. And was also selected to represent college in inter-schools. And then, uh, after February, we have a special uh, award for John Paul Felice, who uh, not only participated in a lot of activities outside college, but uh, he got also a number of prestigious uh, results. We, as a school, we participated in the MEDE online sports fest, and uh, uh, John Paul won the gold in the Bear Peace Challenge and also uh, a second place in, in another challenge. So, uh, John Paul Felice and Luke Gregg. Well done. This year's special sports prizes in the middle school will be split into two, as we did in the junior school. We have uh, some uh, guys who did very well in inter-school and inter-house competitions and then we also had some guys who following February, March, uh, they took part in the online competitions organized by MEDE, basically the online sports fest. Uh, so the, the prize for the online sports fest for MEDE uh, was, is, will be awarded to Nikon, Nikon Vaznes, who uh, did very, very well. Uh, he won two uh, gold medals, or actually one in the rope skipping and one in the table tennis challenge. And uh, during, the school, during school, we also had some inter-school competitions. And for those competitions, we had Zeg Zamit, who uh, won the inter-house cross country, and he also placed second uh, in the tennis inter-schools tournament. So well done, uh, Zeg Zamit and Nikon Vaznit. This year's special prize for the Senior School for Sporting Achievement goes to Sean Gatt. Sean Gatt uh, was not only top sports person and top uh, in sports day, uh, by uh, representing his house also in football and basketball and representing the school in football and basketball and athletics and also cross country, but uh, he was also uh, a very good uh, help helping hand when we were uh, setting up some video videos uh, with the help of Mr. Gurev and we were putting these videos online 
So during the pandemic, Sean got met with Mr. Gureff and they, we set a number of video classes, basically exercises. So uh, well done, Sean got. All old Edwardians watching this clip at the moment will definitely recognize what I have in hand. It's the Victor Lodorum, nearly a hundred, close to a hundred years old. Okay, and this is the prize we give to the sports person who, during sports day, uh, manages to obtain the maximum number of points throughout the events in sports day. So this year's Victor Ludorum goes to Alex Spiteri. Well done, Alex. Great job. The next award is the Jenny Samut Prize for Altruism. This prize has been awarded at St Edward's for over 20 years in remembrance of a boy, Jenny Samut, whose father was also an old Edwardian. He wanted to provide this award to remember him for all his selfless ways. The boy this year always had a kind word, who calmed down troubled waters and shouldered responsibility to help his teacher through some difficult times. This year it goes to Elijah Zamit of 5Y. For the SEPTA Award for Altruism in the Middle School, I have great pleasure in asking Miguel Aquilina to be the recipient. Miguel is always ready and willing to help out in all areas of college and very much represents the values that help make our community a safe and caring environment. This year, the SEPTA Award for Altruism goes to Sam Gelancé. During his stay at college, Sam has proven to be a very strong, reliable and helpful student, both to teachers and, of course, other students. Thank you and well done, Sam. For the SEPTA Award for Altruism in the Sixth Form, I would like to recognize a particularly reserved student, but one who was always there when her friends needed her most, and that is Maria Grzanova. Whether her friends were ill in hospital or going through a particularly difficult time, Maria was always one to put others in front of herself and thoroughly deserves to be commended for it. So, as part of the extracurricular program, an activity that stood out last year was the Young Parliamentarians, organized thanks also to Agencia Zaza. The Young Parliamentarians was a debating activity during which students learned debating skills through the medium of the Maltese language. Students also took part in online debates with other schools. Some students that took part and that stood out um, amongst the Young Parliamentarians of last year, we had Gianluca Baldacchino, Kurt John Grek, Samuel Saliba, and Kirin Kassar Melali. Congratulations! Another program of the extracurricular activities is Ecoscola. Ecoscola has been present for at St. Edward's College for many years. I am pleased to announce that again for the fifth time, St. Edward's College was awarded its green flag last year. The committee that helped to bring about this massive change and to be awarded the green flag compromised of the following students. Miguel Aquilina, Leona Bella, Enrique Ellul, Daniel Cassar, Samuel Borge Barté, Jamie Sherry Richard, Kurt John Grek, and last but not least, Gianluca Baldacchino. Well done boys and thank you on behalf of Ecoscola. I would like to take a moment to celebrate the entrepreneurial spirit among some students at the college. The Junior Achievement Young Enterprise Company program is a very demanding journey. Last year, St. Edward's team, Forward, honored the college with their achievement as first runner-ups. Well done to Mab Hamuda, Gabriel Apa, Angelica Catini, Laura Chianese, Zakria De Gaili, 
Morgan Gibrilia, Anar Nimenen, Matteo Muscat, James Stewart. I am sure you have a lot of memories and learning outcomes to cherish. The student voice and student involvement is much valued at our college. Having an active student council based on democratic principles was our mission. It is through the time and dedication of the following leaders that SESCO, the St. Edwards Student Council, was re-established with representatives from grades 10 to 13. Well done to Zakaria Aldagili, Sebastian Aquilina, Kiran Kassar Mulali, Tudor Danila, Andy Atzopardi, Anar Nieminen, Tasha Sagan, Samuel Saliba, and Sebastian Sinistera. Our mission here at St. Edwards is to create exemplary citizens who contribute to the well being of society. The spirit is best reflected in our house captains, and today I have the pleasure to announce three new names. House Captain for Congreve, Kurt John Grek, House Captain for Campbell, Luke Ransley, and House Captain for Duquesne, Leon Abela. Leon, Kurt and Luke, thank you for your dedication to St. Edwards. We feel you will all make excellent captains and guide our students in the right direction. Along with our house captains, I would like to congratulate our new monitors who through their leadership will assist and contribute to the well-being of all at college. Daniel Kassar, Simon Grek, Jamie Sherry Richard and Nikon Vaznis, you have all proven yourselves to be exemplary students in your manners and principles. Your guidance to other students here at college will surely be beneficial to all. Thank you. We're now coming to the Old Edwardian Medal. The Old Edwardian Medal is presented to somebody who has embodied all of the Edwardian principles, really reflecting our mission statement. It's not just about academics, it's about becoming a true Edwardian. Now this is one of our most prestigious awards and I'd like to announce that Kose Shirai, well done Kose, you are now the recipient of the Old Edwardian Medal. Thank you for joining us on our virtual prize day. I would like to, for one final time, extend my congratulations to all prize winners as well as all the other students who have worked hard this year. Hopefully, we will be able to go back to our usual program next year. In the meantime, stay safe and look after one another.